YouTube. Is it going commercialized? Is it destroying its own business model? Um, I would say it's a corporation. I would say this is the sort of stuff the corporations do. Um, I do feel that, because I'll express this as my opinion in this video, um, the first thing I want to say is I do think that if anybody's going to get shafted on this, it will be the creators. Um, one thing I learned over years and years in corporations is nobody has responsibility for anything. So anything that fails is not somebody's fault, they just basically move somebody across, then have somebody else to create change. And this seems like that sort of garbage. Um, although the advertisers have got this um, issue with Google now and YouTube, I think they're going to bite their teeth into it and just keep hold and not let go. Um, because at the moment, they're in a position where they can do that. Now, the reason a lot of people like myself are on YouTube is we don't watch that thing behind me. It's rubbish. You get v advertising like every 15 minutes or whatever, or even less than that these days. It's just junk. Um, but also, the quality of shows have declined over the years. I mean, I remember when things like the Discovery Channel were brand new, and, they, and the History Channel, where they actually showed topics of interest. Um, now you've got things like porn stars, P A W N. <laughs> Just to stress that. Um, aren't they supposed to be informal? One of the things that does bug me in Spain is the way people shout with people right in front of them. <laughs> I've had to close the window. Um, but the one of the things that does bug me is it's a complete dumbing down. It really is. It is a complete dumbing down because more and more gets owned by Fox Media, etc., and that horrible man, Mr. Murdoch. Um, and it's now in the realms of YouTube, from what I can see, in my opinion. Um, and I can see the advertisers biting in, and they're going to want mainstream. They're going to push things that way. They're going to manipulate things to suit themselves more and more. And even when you look at the stuff the YouTube creator guys are coming out with, which was, um, I'd say it's a completely different model from what they were talking about before. Um, they ain't talking subscribers, they're not talking about um, views, they're talking about making money elsewhere. And <laughs> they're right, but it's a complete U-turn on stuff they've done previously. Um, are they saying that the whole channel thing is now devalued to the point that you might as well not bother at all? Because um, obviously they wouldn't say that openly, in my opinion. Um, but at the same time, I do sit here wondering, why bother? Um, I'm not. I'm not being funny. I don't want Google making money off me. If you know, why should they make money off my back? Um, at the same time, not offer anything in return. In the same way. Advertisers want, hi, I know exactly who you are, I know exactly your demographic, I know exactly what you're going to buy and what you're interested in because I specifically want this information. That's for that thing over there. That's why that's crap. And that's what they're about to try and do to YouTube, in my opinion. Um, is it affecting, affecting me financially? Not in the sense of life. Where it's affecting me is actually thinking, can I be bothered to do much more on YouTube? Um, I certainly ain't going to invest any more money in equipment, etc. It just doesn't deserve it. Now, I, for subscribers, I would say you guys, yeah, but I spent a lot of money on equipment and at the same time, if another format come up and was similar, I'd probably hop onto it. Uh, because the problem I see, you see, is I understand corporations. I spend the last 25 years with them. And what they're doing now is exactly the sort of stuff they pull. Um, it's all policies and promises. At the same time, as soon as they go and have a private meeting, they're sticking knives in your back and doing whatever suits themselves. Um, that's just the way it is. That's just the corporate world. I have yet to find a corporation, if anybody has, 
that actually does something for other people beyond itself, please let me know. Um, because I know, you know, in the UK, you take the supermarket chains, look at how it dismantled the high streets, got rid of the bakers, the butchers, and all that sort of stuff. Um, just getting a bit more political there. Um, but the point being is, YouTube is devaluing everything from what I can see at the moment, in my opinion. Because, firstly, it seems like they're not fighting their corner strong enough to say, well, this business model works, you've been making money off it. Because they're not, I mean, let, let's face it, are these advertisers losing money? Um, well, why would they be advertising if they were? What they want is a specific demographic. I've done, like I said, with the call center. I know what they're looking for. They want their specific product to a specific demographic with a more focused approach to it. But the whole point is, that's not YouTube. That's not why we're here. We're not here to sell microwaves and TVs and new cars and stuff. We're here to create and be much broader than that. Um, and all honestly, they have all your cookie data. They know if you're looking at a car yesterday afternoon on your browser, and they know what type of car you want. So at the same time, they already have that information. So, what does it matter what YouTube video you're watching? You see where I'm going? What does it matter? As long as it's not um, something extreme, that uh, this is the bit they're allegedly just worried about, well, I actually think this is more of trying to manipulate things to suit themselves. Um, what does it matter? You know, if you go on and... Say you want to buy a new car, right? So you've been looking at cars online in your browser for the last three, four days. They know you're after an Audi. They know which model it is, etc., etc. So if you're watching a video on how to cook uh, salmon or um, how to fix a toaster or whatever, will you still see the cars? Of course you will. They will still stick those ads in front of you because they know that's exactly what you want. It's still targeting. Now where a lot of these advertisers go wrong is they simply do not alter the system for their demographic. Um, and I've seen it myself, Facebook got, Facebook's the same. You can make it very specific. I mean for example if I was selling, well, say the expat services stuff here in Spain, what would be my demographic? It's probably going to be more in this area. Over a certain age, say over 26 maybe even over 40 <coughs> and the same for the UK there's certain areas that you know if I was selling um, holiday packages for Benidorm for example they know which air airports are mainly being used and they've got a rough idea of what demographics they want and this is for direct marketing so this on the YouTube side is very easy to push into its own niche very very easily and what I'm hearing a lot a lot of um, excuses because what I'm thinking is like say somebody's doing a very difficult um, video on say cancer treatment right why should that person not receive any YouTube money why because it's a difficult subject but at the same time those adverts are not for that person in the video. They are for the person who's watching it that wants to buy that new Audi. And that's why it will show the Audi ads. So, me thinking logically, is this ethically right in the sense that these companies, and I'm not going to say Audi, I'll just say these companies say that they have a moral and ethical stance yet they will remove advertising from the way I'm seeing it in my personal opinion from things that are difficult subjects because they don't want to be the advertiser on the bottom when this video is somebody dying or something or something else when they're going through the motions of what's going on yet the person watching is still wanting to buy that product because I think those adverts will still be there I just don't think you'll get any money for them in my opinion um, and that, this is the thing I've all with the corporation stuff I've been through over the years. 
the people that always get shafted are the people that do all the work. You get to a middle management and upwards, they're fine because every time they're cost cutting, it's the guys at the bottom. So the advertisers want a bigger return. How they're going to do that, in my opinion, reducing costs or giving them more for their money. And let's be honest, this bit that goes up, what the hell are they going to offer? They don't create anything. I mean, it's like me running a server. I own the server. I'm not creating something on it. It's all the people creating the stuff that sells that are the ones creating the money. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. And I'm going to demonetize this one as well. Because <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sure this will get flagged by um, for being unadvertiser friendly. It is. But the whole point is, I think this is a very specific topic. And what bugs me most on this is there are enough people talking about it. Um, because I'm not really fussed about the AdSense myself, in all honesty. Um, but what I'm concerned about is if YouTube goes mainstream over there, I'm going to switch the bloody thing off. Because, quite simply, it's not why I'm on YouTube. It's not why I watch YouTube. If I wanted to watch the crap that's on that, I will switch that bloody thing on there. Um, but in all honesty, I hate it. I hate the advertising. It's bad advertising. The TV shows have gone downhill in many, in recent years. The UK has declined drastically since Sky opened its doors, giving people a broader choice, and then saturate the market to the point that the production costs have gone down, and the quality has gone down with it. I don't want that. YouTube deserves better. Thanks for that.